Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 16 of this Let's Play Battle Brothers. This is the Army Without a State. And we are doing a pretty good job of raising money. We need to raise 2,000 to finish this ambition. So we're going to make our way over to Hufschlag, where we have just finished a mission. We were hunting down some grave robbers, which has been successfully done. We also got a whole bunch of really good armor, and actually, speaking of the armor, I need to go and use it, don't I? So, frontline guys... I think that Otaku is going to be the next one to get the padded nasal helmet. That is better, right? 110 versus 70. It is indeed. Then I'm going to give Poznik this one. And we can also give you guys some better armor. Let me just double check this. 110, 90, 80. 110, 90. So let's give you the 110 to that guy. 90. Oh, that's a 95, okay. That's already a 90. That's a 70. You can definitely get an upgrade there, buddy. That's a 90. Alright, so we can start giving some chainmail to the back row. We'll give it to you. Alright, good stuff. So our people are pretty well armoured now. We still have an 80. Which I'm sure we can give to one of you. 50. 55. You can have an 80. You can have a 70. Oh, there's a 95 here. <laughs> Whoops! -a. I forgot that one. I think that works out in the same way, basically. Because you were just 90s, right? Yes, you were. Alright, so we have you two who are 95s, you with 90s, including you two, you're on an 80, and these guys have 110 with decent helmets. Everyone has a helmet now? Yes, you do. 45, 50. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how our people are now getting equipped. The other thing that we did get were some more weapons. I'm just going to double check that short swords are indeed worse than Valkyans. 30 to 40... 35 to 45, so no Falcons do more damage. And they do have the plus 10 to hit as well. Okay, I was wrong. Falcons are actually better than short swords. Maybe I just hadn't looted any. Because the uh, skills are the same, still slash. Oh right, yeah, Alpha Brain's already using one, so yes, Falcons are actually better. Okay, my bad. I don't know if Goblin Falcons are better. That was what the uh, discussion was about previously, with that guy, I think it was. <laughs> Seeing as he's just messaged me on Discord about this. Uh, did he reply? Yeah, that's a regular Falcon. Okay, I'll respond to you in a minute. <laughs> I mean, it's weird. I'm talking to him in real time, but you won't see this until like two days after that conversation's actually happened. Volker, the trade master's talking to some of his men when you return to the room. He parts them and asks you of the task. You report that it's safe again to bury Hofschlag's loved ones. Volker, the trade master, smiles. Good, good. Your payment. He snaps his fingers and one of the men steps forward, handing you a satchel. There's 380 grounds in it, as promised. And they no longer have terrified villagers. Excellent. Right, so job's done in Hofschlag, so I'm going to say that we can go on to Grubenheim and then do our usual circuit. Although we could actually go to Grunenwall. No, I think Grubenheim. We'll, we'll, we'll do our usual five town circuit. These ones are a little bit more out of the way. So that is also like a six town circuit down here. Go do, do, no, we do, 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 that one's out of the way. Ah, uh, whatever. Right, where are we? The first Finsterwald Company, 11 men. Oh, and Crown Company. Trade Caravan, no bandits around here, which is good. Hello, Grubenheim. Grubenheim has no contracts for us. 
And nobody here that I particularly wish to hire. Do we want to sell some of this stuff? I mean, we're getting a lot of shields now, so we could sell those. We're also getting a lot of short swords. And repairing short swords is probably worthwhile. And these tools are super cheap, so I want to buy those. We'll sell that short sword. We'll mark the other items for repair. I think we'll get rid of the shields. Okay. So actually, if we go into here, let me say repair, boar spear, short sword, hatchet, short sword. Actually, are the short swords worth repairing? They're worth 189. No, the short swords probably aren't worth repairing. The tier 2 weapons are. But those aren't. You're using a boar spear already. We still need to get another spearman, that is true. And do you have any special weapons for me? I wonder if we get a better price here. 34. Or... Whoops. 34. No. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell those. We can sell the hand axe too. Unless we are going to find a need for it. We'll keep it for the moment. I mean, it's not like we're short on uh, carry space. We could also sell some of the worse armors. Like those. Okay. And then finally... Our front line are using the Teutonic thing. Spearmen are using those. So yes, we could get rid of a whole bunch of those shields. We'll keep those three. Okay, good. Where to next? Wallstadt. Off we go. We have 1,200 crowns. We need another 800. Also, food supply is running rather low. Dire wolves, I have no real reason to go after you right now. And there are indeed some contracts. Oh, that's the one I previously negotiated. And that's a tier 2. I think we'll do the negotiated contract now. We may as well sell the boar spear because we have that one still being repaired. And in fact we may as well sell that one because we have this one being repaired. 1,400. And sure, some more food. We do kind of need it. Alright, let's do this contract then. Deliver the Kaya go to Vistat. So it's heading up north again. We get 290 when it's... Oh, why aren't we moving? Oh, you're saying that way's quicker. Going over land. A little more dangerous, but we'll be on this road briefly. Okay, we're going to have to go through this forest though, which is unfortunate. But I think we'll be alright. Just a quick fetch and carry mission. I think it just about pays for itself, depending on whether we get another contract up here. I'm not even sure it does pay for itself. Another abandoned cemetery. So these areas that just appear, you can go and try and clear out. Usually they are related to a quest from one of the nearby towns. And the one time I did go to one of those, it had ridiculously strong creatures in it. And then when I did the actual mission, those creatures were replaced by something. Raymond of Vistat's been waiting for you as you enter the town. He hurriedly takes the cargo off your hands. Oh, oh, I, I didn't think you would get here. His grubby fingers dance along the chest carrying the cargo. He turns around and barks an order to one of his men. They step forwards and hand you a satchel of crowns. And there is a level 1 mission here. Terrified villagers, so this is probably hunting direwolves? Let's do it. Hilmar of Vistot looks at some of his books, perusing what appear to be a good number of numbers. 
a good deal of numbers. I've got a shipment of particular goods going to Grunenwal, and they're leaving soon. I need a bunch of sturdy swordsmen to help make sure they get there safely. Are you offer it? How many torn carrier? How many crowns are we talking about? This will make you a rich man, my friend. It's two hundred and seventy crowns when the contract is done. I need more than this. No way! It's two hundred and seventy when the contract is done. Fine, we'll go to Grunenwal. Which is the So yeah, these are Oh, it's a trade caravan. Huh, I thought it was another carry mission. I like the trade caravans less because you can't try and avoid enemy troops that you see on the map. They're they're kind of limited in the direction they go, so if there is an enemy in your path, then you're gonna have to fight them. But this is only a tier one mission, so I think we'll be okay. Once we're back up, once we have the 2,000 uh, crowns and we're back up to 12 men, then I think we'll be in a better position to handle the tier twos again. Oh, we're more, more orders. Uh, okay. We've seen goblins, but I'm not sure we've seen orcs. Along the way. All this running about the land has increased the stamina of the men. One runs in place, holding a finger to his neck. He remarks that his heart rate isn't going up at all. Another brother remarks that the guide doesn't even know how to count. The running man pauses. Mrs. Poznik. Oh! That's right! Poznik gains plus one, max fatigue. I love my notes about Poznik. Poznik, archer, high strong, not posh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got a little note on all of the uh, patrons, like how the character should sound. Should really put it on a post it note. That's how I used to do it with Pendor. Not for the names, that was for like other notes about the, um, like whether I'm Lord or Marshal or whatever. Rather than having to flick through my notes all the time. Reaching Hunanwal, the caravan leader turns to you, a large satchel in hand. Thanks for getting us here, Sailsword. You take it and hand over to Otaku Samurai the second for counting. He nods when he's finished. The caravan leader smiles. Also, thanks for not portraying us and, you know, slaughtering us to a man and all that. Mercenaries get thanked in the strangest of ways. Hunanwal is now well supplied, which I believe means cheaper stuff. And indeed, some grain for reduced price. Oh, and tools for a massively reduced price. We're going to be buying all their tools. Because tools are the thing that I, I tend to go through rather quickly. Alright, we're up to still 22, but that hasn't factored in yet. Okay, we're up to 62. Much better. Alright, I'm going to say let's go back to Grobenheim and maybe do the level 2 mission over there. How much does Hunemol like us? Not even listed. Huh, interesting. Alright, onwards. Through the rich meadow to Fleet Feet's range. And then finally Grubenheim. You have another level one contract here for me. Do it. A pack of dogs streams down the road, a few children in chase. They scatter past you one by one, the dogs howling and huffing with joy, the children screaming out greetings. A woman walks up, a metal skillet in one hand and a wa washing rag in the other. Hey there, Sellsword! I should probably let one of them messenger men find you and tell this, but I've got news so I'll tell you anyhow. Elf the Wise is looking for you. She flutters her eyes. You'd smile back and nod. Alpha Brain smirks. Ah, uh, Alpha Brain is that. See something you like, sir? You tell the man to go fark a goat. There you go. That's that's how you treat your men. As you enter Olaf the Wise's room, he and one of his servants are nailing a box shut. Good seeing you, sellsword. One moment, please. No, idiot. Hold the nail that way. I know you hit your thumb before, but I won't do it again. His servant reluctantly holds a nail in while the man hammers it home. Finished, he wipes the sweat from his brow and looks at you. I need this here crate delivered to Hushlag. It's going, it's going to Lars the Counselor. You know him, all right? Make sure you don't know him. Oh, maybe, maybe you don't know him. Well, I can't read. What I do know is this may not be ordinarily your line of work, but I'm willing to pay some serious crowns for t you to see it through. That's your real business, right? Earning some crowns? How many crowns are we talking about? 
He opens the palm of his hand. I'm t tight and crowned, so before you ask, this is all I have right now. You'll be paid 130 when the contract is done. I want more than that. If it must be. It's 140 when the contract is done. That's like one day's wages, so this better not be too far. Oof, schlag is... Okay, it's not that far. We can do that. I really need to kind of get an idea in my mind of where all of these different towns are. Seems to be a lot of fetch quests at the moment. I want to go fight some stuff. I mean, this is a lot safer, don't get me wrong. But the pay isn't exactly as good. And not to mention not getting decent armor and stuff like that. After some looking, a man asks who you're looking for. When you say Lars the Counselor, he points out, points out a nearby paddock where a man is strutting about on a rather opulent looking horse. You walk over and the man rears the steed and asks if that's the cargo of the wise scent. You nod. Leave it here. At your feet. I'll come and get it. You don't, instead asking about your pay. The man sighs and whistles to a bodyguard who hurries over. See to it that this sales sword gets the pay he deserves. Finally, you put the crate on the ground and make your leave. Ground's well deserved. Another level one. Disappearing villagers. A woman runs up to you. She brings her children with, not exactly taking precautions with a cell sword. One of the kids swings their arms around your leg. He's back! You look down and grin, subtly trying to shake the bastard off, although he takes it off for a play. The mother retrieves the spawn before pointing up the road. Henrik the Hoofslug's been looking for you. Tell him I fetched you. Maybe you'll come and fix her. Well, once he knows you've done a favour. She looks world weary, dragged to the hells by the cheeriness of her children. I'm all ears. Henrik of Hoofslug takes a book from his shelf. When he sets it on the table, dusts it, and maybe an ash plume outward. He opens it up, thumbing slowly from page to page. Do you believe in monsters, Cell Sword? I'm asking honestly, as I believe you've had better walk around the world than I. You nod and speak. More than just a belief, yes. The man thumbs another page. He looks at you. Well, we believe monsters come to Hofschlag. We believe that's why people are going missing. Understand where this is going? I need you to find these make-believe creatures and kill them like any other. Are you interested? What's it worth to you? This will make you a rich man, my friend. It's 100 crowns in advance, another 390 when the job's done. I want more when the payment, once the work is done. He takes a deep breath. You'll be paid 520 crowns when your contract is done. That's actually a pretty big increase. Very well. Oh, there was no advance. It just says... Did you cancel my advance? I have a feeling you cancelled my advance. Um, right, where is this place? No, hunt down what terror rises them. So, tracks. Tracks are up that way. Off we go. Direwolves. Yeah, those are the direwolves. Five of them. Your scout reports that you've seen the following. Some direwolves. Engage! Still haven't moved these people into the right place. Oh well. Need to move them down a set. Um, I think against these guys I'm just going to unload hell. And then miss. In a rather dramatic fashion. Yay, we hit one. You should be able to hit them, no problem. Then you guys... They will be moving before you move, so shield wall repost, shield wall repost, shield wall repost. You stay where you are, you stay where you are. Spear wall, shield wall. Stabby, stabby, stabby time! Stabby, stabby, stabby! Ah, uh, you got an attack in. Ooh. That's unfortunate of a place to move to. Alright, well I guess we need to nail this guy. Really? 71% you miss? Damn it. And you're blocked by people. I guess we take out the uh, wounded ones. 34% chance of hitting a 46. I'll take the 46. There we are. Um, you may as well spiky spike. That guy. I'm going to wait with you. Oh, 
I don't think we need to repulse. We may not even need to shield wall anymore. I will. I'll play it safe. Except with you, because I want to kill that one if I can. Shield wall first. Then stab if you have the stamina for it. Um, you're going to have to switch to a melee weapon then. Damn it. Yeah, they do get like three attacks, so shield wall is kind of important. He's about to get mauled. Or not. Took a lot less damage than I expected. Cool. Well done. Let's shoot that one. Damn it, how do you keep missing? Apparently die walls have really good range defense. Not so good melee defense though. Are you running? No. Haha. Uh -huh. Sucks to be you. Switch back to the bow. Nope. Or not. Yeah, you hit something. Huzzah! Let's move you over here. In fact, no, let's move you like here in case that die wolf does actually get away. You'll have to run past that guy then. Not really expecting that to happen though. Okay, so we took a grand total of 38 damage to our armor. And we got a couple more wolf pelts. Jolly good. Your employer, Henrik of Huschlag, might not believe what happened here without evidence. You order the men to begin taking pelts, trophies, scalps, whatever else might show your victory here. Couldn't I just give him my old pelts? <laughs> yeah, we just got these. Henrik of Huschlag takes a few steps back. Uh, see, you've killed the beasts. That's a mighty fine pelt you've got there. You drop what you've brought, a thick, heavy mane of beastly origin, or collapsing into a pile of fur and flesh. The man, almost too scared to get close, tosses you a satchel. 520 crowns, as agreed upon. I'll go to the people and tell them of your success. Finally, we can be at peace. 520 crowns, that's probably the easiest money I've ever earned. Oh, we're only 100 away. I could just sell these pelts for that money. I mean, we've still got loads of space, and I still haven't found a decent place to sell them. That's a terrible price, I'm not buying those. I'm going to assume that the people here are idiots. Yeah, they kind of are. All right, I'm going to say let's go to Dunkelwald this time. Because I think we will have exhausted Gubenheim. Oh, we are so close. So close. Money is running a bit short. We have loads of tools at the moment, though. That's a lot of brigands. Um... We're just going to try and walk, run past them. I think we are. Yikes. Ha! Decided not to fight me. You're chasing me down, but you're not going to catch me. Nye, 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 nye. Wow, a level 3 contract. Uh, no. Not with just 9 people. I'll be massively outnumbered. Slightly overpriced wood. Massively overpriced everything else, so I don't think I'm going to buy anything. Let's head on to... Adloacht. You're being attacked! Your scout reports that you've seen the following, some brigand raiders. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this! Nine on six. All of them are armoured. Including a kite shield and a two-handed axeman. Really do it getting some more crossbows, I think. Again, I forgot to move my people. Oh well. Who's going to be in the best armor? It's these two, I think. Um. Three of these have moved before we did, so yes, I am going to have you shield wall, but then that's it. Oh, and you have recovery. Okay, cool. Uh, 
you really need recovery. Shield wall. I don't think it's going to be worth your while spear walling. I'm just going to hold you. Yeah, you're coming around the top. Should be alright. If you move to one of these two, then you're dead, basically. Right, archers. That was a terrible shot. You broke his shield. Crap, that's really not good, because he's about to get surrounded. Um... Hmm. Hmm. He actually hit him. Headshot as well. Interesting. I must admit I was not not expecting that. I'm going to move you... That costs six. And then to swing costs six. So yes, I can do that. Move you here, then you can hit... One of those. If I don't move you, I can hit this guy. We'll do that. Oh, shit. Needed you to hit that. I think that Gistle here might die here. There's not much I can do about it. Unfortunately, I can't get you into a position where you can actually hit someone. I kind of want to move you up to here, and then have you fill in over this side. The problem with moving here is that these two could then attack him, and he is not a shieldman. He is hard, though. Is he that tough? He's got really good melee defense. Not as good as if he had a shield, though. Alright, we'll take a risk. Um, I think you're just going to have to go all out and try and kill these guys, to be honest. Shit. Oh, he's made a run for it. Interesting. Shield will repost. Don't hit him. Gotcha. Right. You can move up. And attack him. I'm not going to bother shield walling, it's only up against one person. Um, oh, my archers are not very effective in this fight. Too many shields. I think I'm going to turn you into makeshift melees. The crossbowmen's are quite effective, but you guys just aren't. Actually, I can get him with the crossbowman, probably. Um, hmm. Ah. Yeah, I'm expecting them all to be going to town on that guy. Um, right. What does this give you? No bonus to hit. That's a negative to hit, so I think I'm just going to go into swinging. You can go up to him, stop him running away. That was a nice hit. Was a headshot as well. Destroyed the armor, the uh, helmet. All right, that's good. That's really good. And he's just broken. Okay, that's really, 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 really good. He's going to break. You're surrounded by three people, so you're going to get beaten up. So I'm going to attack somebody else with this guy. 
Fenris. Crap. You managed to avoid my strike, that's annoying. You were hit a couple of times, but you are running. You didn't die though, which is annoying. Oh shit. Yeah, he killed Gisselhair. That's really annoying. I had high hopes for Gisselhair. Well, bugger. That's really annoying, actually. Uh, you're still a bad guy, but I think I'm going to move you up to here. He's proving to be surprisingly tough. <laughs> you might try and repost, but it's not going to do you any good. Alright, he's running as well. So we just need to get up to him. We can take a swing as well. Damn it. He might actually get away. Um, We're going to run them down, because I'm pretty sure we can get at least this guy. I'm kind of convinced that we can do it with daggers. Damn that shield! Uh, Way too far away. Let's move you up to here. And you can also use a shield. I'm so annoyed about Gissel there. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That guy had potential. Alright, we hit you once. Not enough there. And he's just dying. If only I had a uh, an axe to break a shield. I think with just the sheer number of people attacking here, we'll get him. Don't really need to move these guys forwards, but what the hell. Why not? Where the hell are you going? I should have attacked you with a regular attack there. Let's have you reload and then step up that way. Well, if you're wanting to move towards my troops, then we can make that happen for you. Yes. Good stuff. Oh, that's so annoying. So annoying. Alpha got one, Fenris got one, Posnik got one, that guy got one, Wraithlord got one, Otaku got one. And he was the only one that really took damage in any significant numbers. They really focused him down. Very annoying. 115 armor. Okay, so we did save some pretty decent mail. 140 helmet. Nice. Ah, and we got a kite shield. 25 range defense. A couple, bit of money. A flail, also. And an arming sword. Yes, I think I will loot all of that. And you'll have to wait until next episode to see precisely what all that gear does for us. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. And if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. If you would like to see your own name appearing as a character, then let me know in the comments as well. And if you are looking for other ways of supporting the channel, check out the Patreon in the link below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.